Have you ever encountered the memory issue in the large data set like this? Here I have the single data set with the 20.2 GB uh, size and then uh, in this video I am going to use the python and then load this csp file and then do the uh, processing things and generate my required output. So in order to do that, so watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Such kind of huge data set cannot be loaded directly into the memory. That's why we need dask and then it will uh, like distribute our data set into the multi-core machine and then uh, it will uh, do the processing when the data set exceeds the memory. So in order to use the dask, you need to install the dask package. Uh, for me, uh, I install the dask geopandas package. By default, uh, it will install the dask package since I'm going to use uh, the uh, geo data frame so that's why i use this package uh, so you can install it with the conda install minus c conda fork and then dask geo pandas and here i have the notebook and uh, here uh, if you install it successfully you are able to import it uh, the dask uh, dask dot data frame uh, to sddd and then import dask data uh, geo pandas and if i hit run then uh, it will run successfully and after that i can uh, load my uh, geo csv file inside the uh, dask data frame all right now the model are run successfully so i can write ddf dd.read csv and then this is the uh, path to the csv file so for me uh, my csp is uh, okay here so i can copy the path and then write it here and then if i write ddf dot sorry ddf dot head then uh, it will like print out the output within a second right so it's super fast uh, since we can load the data set into the several partition so it it load very very fast and now i want to convert this uh, data frame uh, to the geospatial data frame in order to do that so i can write gddf equal to sorry equal to dask geo pandas and then from uh, data dask data frame which is uh, this one and then uh, my dask data frame is ddf and my geometry will be uh, ddf dot geometry and then i need to map its partition so that it can load properly uh, gdf geo series and from wkt and also i need to like provide the meta which is a gpd dot geo series and it's the mpt geo series and I can write gddf equal to gddf dot reset index. And if I say gddf dot head, so it's simply the uh, spatial data frame. GPT is not defined, so I need to like import the geo data frame as GPD. Import a uh, geo pandas as GPD. And yeah, so okay, so I need to run it again. Uh, it will take some minute okay now it's run so now i can like add my coordinate system gddf sorry gddf.crs to the 4326 coordinate system which is wgs 1984 and let's say if i want to clip my data set into the one particular region then i can write uh, like ay equal to I have the area of interest set file, which is this polygon one. So let me close these files. And I have this polygon file, uh, which is over here. So, okay, this polygon file. So I'm going to clip my data set with this polygon. So in order to do that, so I can write AOI equal to GPD dot read, uh, read file and then it will be like polygon.ssp this is my uh, path right 
So AOI, if I say AOI head, then I can see only the uh, area of interest, uh, my this polygon layer, right? So now what I can do is I can like write clip. I want to clip it. So I can write clip equal to dask geodata frame dot clip. And then I need to clip my dask geodata frame with AOI. So I can write like this. And then if I say clip dot head, then I'll only see the dask data frame with only the polygon from that particular area of interest. And now in order to like download this clip file, I need to clip dot compute and then I need to clip dot to CSV and then uh, and then I need to provide where I want to save this file. If I run this code, so it will run, I think it will take around 15 minutes for me and then it will create you the clip file which I already loaded here. So my the clip file name is test buildings and here you can see all the buildings within this particular area of interest. Yeah, so that's how you load the big data set and then deal with the big CSV files. Uh, just remember that you have the DAX uh, DAX model which can like DAX library which can like deal with the large data set big data set and then uh, you can easily do your uh, work so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching